Greetings everybody and welcome to this first update on my Eldar Warp Spiders. Uh, I think I I did the Ken boxing uh, two days ago or so. Um, and I was so eager and keen on painting those guys up that I just started right away. And the first results you get to see here. Um, as you can see I have done all the bases already. However they're not quite finished yet because I have to add some grass tufts there, um, do some washing on the rocks and the sort of beach stuff there. Um, and I started to use um, some water effects. So basically what I want to um, show you here is um, basically those rocks are supposed to stand on a, on a little lake and uh, yeah, I think the water, the still water effects are working out pretty nicely so far. It doesn't really show on the camera as it does in real life, but I hope you can see the the shiny reflections there. And it said that with those, uh, with that Vallejo, um, with that Vallejo still water effects, you need to apply several layers. And so far, I only applied two layers and they have to dry for 12 to 24 hours so it's qu quite a time consuming process but nevertheless I'm really starting to like the results that are shown already so yeah we have some nice little rocks there with a little bit of beach and I'm also going to dry brush the beach as well so to make it look uh, even brighter because right now it looks like it's just a too dark brown uh, the contrast is too sharp yeah, and let's get to the first warp spider. Um, it is by no means finished yet. However, I think you can see what I'm aiming for. I want them to look a little bit frosty, as I had uh, a conversation a couple of days ago with Tristan. Um, since he's such a huge warp spiders worshipper, <laughs> I asked him if he had any input or um, suggestions on a color scheme. And uh, after a while, we came to the conclusion that um, an icy sort of color scheme would look really cool. So um, I've never done anything like that before. I've tried several new um, blending techniques that were really something that I've never even, yeah, uh, tried. So um, I did basically um, some of the shading there. Um, now I need to re-highlight everything and for example for the little ornaments here or the the gemstones there I'm going to use totally different colors so those steps are nearly complete but I th think you can see what I'm aiming for here some icy white blue green um, colors that blend together hopefully or that will blend in together hopefully um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the weapon too but anyway I think it also um, goes along really well with those little lake things on the base. Yeah, so I'm really interested to hear your opinion on it, if you have any other suggestions, especially if you've done an icy color theme uh, before. And uh, if you like them, let me know, because it keeps me motivated. And But also if you do have some critique or uh, suggestions, feel always free to let me know, so I can go on and improve myself. So yeah, that's it for now. I hope you like this little update on my warp spiders and the bases. Thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.